Dokie, here we are with another plan with me. I am using the Haunted Magic reformat, and I did use this last year in my planner. I was, I don't remember what exactly happened. It was the week after, I do remember exactly what happened, it's just a long story. So it was the week after the planner party, and I was, I used the planner party kit, obviously, so I was in a really like sultry kit mood because I wanted something darker, darker vibes, and I was like, this, like, sea foam muted green color was black before i think that was the color i switched out yeah um and i was like i want something dark so i was like oh haunted mansion's 50th anniversary for and disneyland is this week so i was like it works out perfectly and then i actually found out that i was pregnant with theo that wednesday i wish i had my other planners here so i could show you guys that spread but i did like leave a little label blank obviously because I planned the week after but I didn't want to put it in because like you know you never know what's gonna happen um when I was that early I was like four weeks pregnant at the time I would didn't even miss my period or anything and I knew I was pregnant so um obviously didn't put that in my planner for a while um but I just thought it was really special and I wanted to use the same kit to mark a year since I found out that I was pregnant with him because that was like really important and special to me. So um, I did want to use champagne lights because it's my favorite foil. Um, I think I might have just used gold last year. I feel like you could use like a lot of different foils with this to be honest. Um, even the new purple that came out look really pretty or if you want to do, do a mixed metal moment if you wanted to pull in hollow or sparkly hollow. But I mostly have champagne lights and then I also have um, gold bougie boxes because honestly like I could use half cut headers but champagne lights is like like if this was hollow if this gold was hollow this would be sparkly hollow so I feel like this is like a perfect match that's why I don't have sparkly hollow um bougie boxes in the shop obviously bougie boxes are like our top selling item um so yeah I'm, I'm arguing with Ma Marg right now because she's like ultra dumb today like well, ultra dumb like in her decision making today so I I think I'm just going to keep it pretty regular this week because I've been doing a lot of like extenders and messing things up if you guys saw last week's plan with me. So I have the eight boxes here, the ten, and then um, maybe I'll actually film putting down my base because I'm actually in quite a chatty mood. And I don't think I'm going to get to like actually laying the other stickers down so it would be like a nice little break in there. Um, so I really wanted to use these two but I don't really know like how to make it work. I don't know because it's like way cool hmm because let's see I wish I had Haunted Mansion quotes if you know any shop that has gold ones let me know so there's seven eight nine ten so ten would be these right but I really love these ones too and I want to fit them in, but that, like, involves then extenders, unless I could think of another way. Unless I want to get, like, really, like, really, I don't know. I feel like this is all a bad idea. How could I do this? I feel like I've seen people use, like, multiple boxes and not make any more, like, stuff. let me think for a second okay i basically had a big brain moment and i'm really excited about it so i'll need i'll be doing some kind of like double box thing with this but we'll get to that in a minute um okay i think i know what i'm gonna do so okay so let's go ahead and put down the top glitter headers usually i speed up this part but i'm feeling chatty maybe i'll speed up the other part i don't know i don't know exactly Okay, I love these colors. I feel like I definitely would have been cool like reusing this kit if they were the original colors. I don't remember why I was like, I kind of want to change it up. I think I was like looking at the the papers that Ken has just did and I saw this like the seafoam color kind of sprinkled through like most of them and I was like, it's actually a really pretty color and then I like was playing around with it and I remember I sent it to Ken Jess and I was like, hey, like what are you thinking? She's like, oh, the blue's nice. I think actually when I sent it to her, it was like a really bright blue. And then like she went to sleep or something. And then I was like, all right. So I was playing around and I was like looking at it and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to grab this sea foamy color because I actually pulled it from one of the papers and I was like, this makes sense. So 
and that's how it came to be you could definitely like if you have like black items like that's like a color if you are into like saving functionals i would save like black stuff i feel like people say like they have problems writing on black but i've never like my black isn't like like unwritable black i feel like whenever i like have black i don't have any examples of like black stickers anywhere though um it's not like super black i feel like i could still see my pen on it but i don't know where i'm going with any of this but anyways yeah so you could pull in black and i think it would look really cool too but i think it gives it like a new vibe and i feel like this kit already sold as many as it did last year which is just insane you guys really loved this i feel like this was a set that like Everyone liked when it came out, but then whenever people started using it, everyone was, like, freaking out last year, so. It's one of my favorites. If not my favorite, I think. Because also has sentimental, like, value. I remember whenever I found out that I was pregnant with Bennett, I don't think it was, like, as crazy. Um, but it was still exciting because it was, like, we tried for a long time for Bennett, and but I don't remember what spread I put it in. I think... I think I had like an announcement spread, but it was like way after I found out I was pregnant. Both of them I found out I was pregnant really early, like four weeks. So yeah, like I said, I'm using the gold bougies. They're so beautiful. Love bougie boxes. I actually have some ideas for like different bougie things in the future, but those will be coming. Not really anything different, just kind of different, but not. So like I said, I'm going to be using, I'm going to do the full boxes and then work on like the bottom washi. Normally when I do spreads, I do the bottom washi first, but here we are. So I think, let me actually move these over to the, the full box page. It's probably easier so I can see exactly what I'm working with. I also have the fashion girls, but like they're cute, but I have enough boxes already. So actually I have too many boxes. So we're going to put that one in there. So it looks like I have two flat lays, two outside and four insides. So basically, I want to put definitely at least one inside in here, right? Or flat lay, a flat lay and an inside. So let's do, let me grab some glitter headers, right? Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Where are my glitter headers? Oh, there they are. Okay. So, right, are those ones I have the most of? Because, like, the outside, technically, like, this is an outside. So, I think a flat lay and then the purple. So, I want to put, and then this one I have the least amount of, the black. So, I think I'm going to do this one on the bottom and then the black. No, it would be this one here. So, then this one's farther away from all of the other purples. So if I wanted to put a purple here, it's, I mean, they are kind of far apart, which would work. Purple, purple, black. Oh, and then I put the flat lays in the middle. Never mind. I'm just kidding. I feel like I have a loose logic for the way I put things down. It's not like, it's not fully like a theory or like, you know, science. It's just kind of like whatever logic I find suiting to the position actually like hungry we had breakfast for dinner and i feel like breakfast for dinner never like satiates me because usually it's just like eggs and bacon i don't know some toast too so that should be like filling but i don't know i'm in a snacky mood but i don't know what i want to snack on honestly i want pierogies like sauteed pierogies with onions like lots of onions or sausage and peppers with like lots of peppers and onions or even like zucchini like honestly i just want vegetables like sauteed vegetables so honestly just like butter i have some cookies downstairs that i might eat too i ordered i was in like a having like a weird kick i guess i don't know what i'm doing here i was having a weird like sugar kick i guess i don't know i don't really eat a lot of candy or anything like that um, but I ordered a bunch of candy from Sugarfina, and I also ordered, um, cookies from Milk Bar. Honestly, I've talked about this before. I think Milk Bar's ice cream's gross. I've had it, like, two or three different times, and it's just actually gross. Um, why did I pull this out? I don't know. Um, but I really like their, like, the, like, their, like, cookies and the little, like, 
compost is it compost pie or is it it's compost cookie i don't know what the pie is but it's good it just tastes like honestly like butter nick said it reminds me of like a pecan pie without the pecans so but i really like their stuff but just not their ice cream i think it's disgusting um i also have never had their cakes they look like a little too much for me but i don't know which reminds me i need to order bennett's birthday cake which i'm like really excited for bennett's birthday i mean i'm excited for bennett's birthday every year um because actually like the theme he picked he kind of like he had like a pretty strong like this is the theme i want and then he started to waver towards baby shark and i was like oh uh, so then i asked him again today i was like all right babe what do you want because i haven't sent in the mood board yet and he's like back to the original idea and i was like bless bless because like i do not want to have a baby shark birthday if he wanted it I'd oblige whenever I was like trying to figure out like what he wanted for his birthday I like gave him all the options um to like make sure it wasn't like a bias towards the one that he picked I was like do you want a blippy birthday a construction birthday at that time like you know baby shark birthday and I went through all of them and then I whenever he said what he wanted I kept like every day I'd be like are you sure that's what you want because like I'm hyped for it but like if that's not what you really want I don't want it to be like a thing though I don't really th think you could uh uh manipulate a two-year-old to like have a different one for their birthday party so let's see i have this one too okay i honestly might do this one over here because there's already made a lot of faces on the other side i was uh looking and they have some pretty cool like haunted mansion inspired stuff on etsy like house decor and i'm like here for it so there's that i love this kit so much it honestly just makes me so happy um, I think I want to do a Gigantic Ghost in the Corner, possibly. Would be flat lay in the middle. Let me put that flat lay down because I know that I want it to be in the middle. But yeah, I just love Haunted Mansion. Like the culture, not culture, I guess. I don't know. Like the whole like idea of the Haunted Mansion and like everything that goes with it I like. But the ride's kind of boring, TBH. It's Nick's favorite ride, though, and even Bennett's, like, kind of not, like, enthused when we go on it. So, I think I want to do that. I feel like doing, like, all purple is going to be a lot. Wait, one, two, three, four. That's a lot. Um, 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 um. Ooh, this is going to be actually tough. Oh, wait, I have these two. Why am I saying all four would be bad? I think I'm going to do just, mm, just do it. This here. Yeah, so I don't even like Haunted Mansion the ride. I think it's boring. I've been on it like 17,000 times. Nick's always like, babe, did you book a fast pass for Haunted Mansion? And I'm like, babe, yes, I did. But I don't know why we have to go on it like six times every time we go. We go like to rope drop. We obviously like I have a very strategic plan for fast passes and if we go for rope drop we always like run to not run we walk but I miss Disney uh we run to like one ride that we don't have a fast pass for obviously to ride first and he always wants to go to Haunted Mansion I'm like well why are we wasting it on Haunted Mansion granted we couldn't go on anything like super fun with Bennett yet which I cannot wait to go back because I feel like by the time that we could go back to Bennett he's gonna be able to ride like most if not all of the roller coasters because like covid um he can ride big, big thunder mountain now though because i measured him recently and i was like you'd be able to go on it and we'd have so much fun i'm gonna take him on his first roller coaster it's like obviously like a little bit more of a kitty one but um but if he gets bigger well i guess it's nice to start him small and say if he gets bigger i might take him on something a little bit more wild i feel like he's gonna like maybe cry but then maybe be like ultra hype and want to go again. I don't know. Or maybe he won't cry and he'll just be like, yes. Because he's also kind of like a thrill seeker. So I don't know. We will see. I will report back in 10 years. Ugh. So sad. I told Nick the other day, I was like, you know, just miss it too much. We actually ordered a bunch of rugs on Ruggable. You guys ever heard of that? Um, and I was like, ugh. Disney. So I think I'm going to do, oh, but I could put that one in the, no, because that would be the two. I think I want to do the ghosts with one in the middle. So 
I'm gonna put this one here and the other one on the sidebar. Oh, I should love Disney. But yeah, Ruggable has some really cool, not sponsored, obviously. Um, really cool rugs that are like Disney themed, which I just think is so cool. They're like, I sent them to Marg and Marg was like, you seriously bought like Disney rugs? And I was like, no bro, look. They're like really like subtle Disney rugs. So if you want like some hints of Disney in your house, but you don't want to go like full blown crazy, or, you know, just whatever floats your boat. Um, definitely check out Ruggable. They also have some really cool Star Wars ones. If you have any Star Wars fans in your life. Nick got one. Um, he got the... Uh, Y'all know, I don't know Star Wars stuff. But I want to say it's like a Tide Fighter or something. And it's like Houndstooth inspired. And Nick has been on a Houndstooth kick for... He's like very up on the trends. <laughs> And he's been on a houndstooth kick for, like, I think since, like, the last summer. He has been crazy about houndstooth. So whenever he saw that one that's, like, houndstooth inspired, he was like, I need it. So we got that one in the, like, more monochromatic one. So that was really cool. And the, I'm using the Champagne Lights Twinkle Wiggle, which is still in the shop. I want to do more things with sparkly, uh, not sparkly hollow champagne lights in the future because, like I said, it is my favorite foil. I don't know. Oh, well, Nick's with Theo. I was like, Theo's up, but of course he is. Nick's up with him. I put him to sleep and he, like, fell asleep. And then he was like, no. Nah. I think it's because he took too late. Of um, His last nap was a little bit long. So I think he's going to just stay up for a little bit longer. It's what time is it? Ooh, it's 10. He's going to stay up for a little bit longer probably and then just conk for the whole night. Last night he probably had the best sleep of his life though. Ugh. Actually. He, I mean he sleeps good every night but I just feel like last night he just had quality quality sleep. Um, yeah. He's a sweet boy. It's crazy how fast he's growing up. Um, I think I talked and I just filmed my like other plan with me this one and like a couple like an hour ago. I don't know. And I was talking about, like, his four-month appointment, and he's 18 pounds, which is just crazy. He's the 80th percentile for weight, and then 90th for height, which Bennett was also 90th for height, but then 50% for weight, so. He's your chunky boy, but I love him. I think, and everyone agrees, that Bennett is literally, like, even, like, even his attitude is exactly like Nick's. Like, I have attitude, but I have my own type of attitude but Nick has his own type of attitude I feel like everyone has their own type of attitude and um Bennett and Nick are the same and me and Theo are the same and we even like have like Bennett obviously looks like a spitting image of Nick and then Theo looks exactly like me and my family so I think it's super cute super cute super cute super cute because I was like so worried that like none of my kids were gonna look like me <laughs> which would have been so tragic right not really i've been fine but you know it's nice to have a kid who looks like yeah a little teddy bear but yeah another story i think i've told before but i'll just tell it again a too long didn't read version is that whenever we're trying to figure out a name for theo there's another boy name that we like well it's addison i mean that was like the name that we picked out for bennett like whenever nick and i were like 16 we really like them edison but first of all we met an edison that's like I talk to Tiki, Tiki's husband's name is Edison, um, all the time. So I felt like that was a little weird. And then also just like, I don't know, because we skipped it with Bennett. So I just was like, I don't know. I was like, you know, if we can't think of a name, you know, we'll go to Edison because I really still love that name. Um, I'm not having any more kids. I'm not like biological kids at least. And um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I was like, all right, like, what are we thinking? So I was like, oh, let's see if we can find, like, a name, like, that's Haunted Mansion themed because, like, we were doing, like, we did a Haunted Mansion, like, announcement and, like, also the week that I found out I was pregnant was the week of Haunted Mansion's 50th anniversary and, you know, whatever. Nerdy, I know, but still. So I was looking and I didn't look, like, super hard. I just kind of, like, you know, casually looked. Sorry if you hear Theo in the background, but Nick's, like, tending to him. So I was looking kind of casually and I didn't find anything. And then I was just looking at just kind of like strong, like, I don't know, like, you know, Bennett just sounds like, not like English, but like, 
I don't know. I'm trying to think of like, like an older name maybe? Like an old, olden times name? I don't know. Like a strong, I don't know. It reminds me like, well obviously like I picked Bennett because I really love Pride and Prejudice and the last name of the family is Bennett and, but it's with one T, but I thought two T looked better for the first name. So I really like that name. Where the heck? Oh, here. So I didn't look very hard, but then, so I picked out Theodore and Nick really, really liked it. Uh, the next runner up name was William for Theo. I really like the name William. I'm like Liam has like a nickname. We don't ever call a uh, Theo Theodore, barely ever, unless we're like being funny. But we also, we usually call Bennett Bubba, so. So I was, one day, I don't remember, oh, I was looking up the, like, lyrics to the, to, like, the song, and I, like, saw, like, glance that there is actually a Theodore in the ride, and it's Uncle Theodore, and he's the one with the cracked head. Like, the statue with the cracked head that's, like, falling off, like, Okra's cracked neck. So I thought that was kind of cool and coincidental, and I was really excited about it. So let's go ahead and get this full box done because I'm kind of nervous about it, but I have a feeling it's going to look really cool. All right. I feel like I've seen somebody do this before, so, like, this isn't, like, Andrea first thing ever. I feel like I see um, Maddie Planner Babe, J Planner Babe Jams um, do some, like, really cool, like, box stuff. So I'm going to try and cool, do some really cool box stuff right now. All right, so I'm taking, these are the full box ones. So these are intended for if you have a, um, like an extender, you can use this as like, instead of like folding this and putting the full box on it, you can put this on it, or you can take these and use them with half boxes, which I always forget, but I think it looks really cool to fold these and then put the like half box on. And then you have like a half box extender. Um, yeah, Nick's like, he's really doing it tonight, and I'm like, yeah, oops. So, yeah, you guys don't care, right? Because he's a baby, and he's just going to do his thing. Um, I think he has to poop, TBH. So I'm going to put this down. So I just folded that in half, right? I mean, you could definitely do this with a, um, with a wide box, but I feel like it might get a little bit thick putting three full boxes on it. So I'm just doing it this way. Um, I think this will be easier because I just need something to like mend them all together and then I'm just gonna do this So I'm gonna put this here Because this is obviously like for pure decoration. So which I'm gonna do it this way. So let's do this Probably have to go in there, but I'm almost done with the full boxes anyways, and then I'll come back He might want his mom Likely just has to poop though, and then I'm gonna put this here Oops, that's crooked. All right, hold on. I don't even know if you guys can hear him because there's also the air conditioning. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, uh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to have to do that more often. Because this would also be quite cool if you didn't want to use the double box and wanted to put more boxes in the spread. This is really cool. I wanted to put more boxes in the spread. You could like omit the double box and then just use the double box just in any, like I'm just putting it here because, that's fine. I'm just putting it here because it kind of just like works. Um, I think so. That's really cool. So obviously it's still stuck because it has that. Oh, I love that. And then you fit extra without like needing extra boxes. Okay, I love that. All right, be right back. Okay, we are now joining with voiceover Andrea. I just sped up doing the remaining foil just because I feel like it's pretty basic. I did use the date numbers in the kit and did my normal like 15 millimeter strip on top. And then I went in and kind of just put like random overlay boxes on every day. And I just really love the way this kit turned out. It is definitely like I think my favorite kit of all time just because it's just so pretty, and I think it's so funny that this is my favorite kit of all time, and I actually don't like the Haunted Mansion ride, which I don't know if I mentioned this, because I did film this, like, 10, like, 8 to 10 days ago, I feel like, at this point, but oh, I just love it so much, but let's go ahead into the plans. I did just put 
some random stuff in the sidebar, which I don't think you guys will even see, but I did just put, I think like family time possibly. I like took a screenshot of the planner cause it's upstairs. Um, but I did use a paper, uh, muse crafts, little custom of me and the fam in gold. And then I just put a piece of deco in the like box that's like on the top area. Um, just because I thought it looked cute. And if I don't have something to put in, I think of putting a piece of deco in a full box and a half box is just like fine for me right now. So on Monday, I did put in that I did do some planning and I love the way this looks with the little like pen sticker. And then I did get a bunch of happy mail this day. I love happy mail. It just makes me so happy to get stuff in the mail. And Bennett also loves opening my mail with me. So it's like a fun experience for us both. He always steals my freebies and stuff. Then I did go to work and then I put in family cuddles and then I made pizza grilled cheese this night, which is something that I haven't had in a really long time. And basically whenever I was younger, I'd go camping a lot and we would have like, I guess they're like, they called them like mountain pies. I don't know if that's like an actual thing or just something like maybe my grandparents made up. Not totally sure. So I was like, oh my God, Nick, you know, it sounds like really good because we've been making pizzas with Bennett. So we have like all of the pizza supplies. I was like, we should make like pizza mac and not pizza mac and cheese pizza grilled cheese basically which is like a pizza mountain pie but on the stove and it turned out so good and it's such an easy quick like little snacky meal or it could be a full-blown meal depending on how hungry you are and then we did watch 90 day fiance it was probably 90 day happily ever after which is honestly our favorite right now it's just so entertaining on Tuesday, I did go to Starbucks in the morning, so I did put that down, and I did do a lot of snuggles with Theo. Theo is like the snuggliest baby I've ever met in my whole entire life. All he wants to do is cuddle, and it's so cute. And then Bennett did go for a sleepover at my in-law's house, which is probably like his favorite time of the week. He's actually there right now, and he just like wakes up, because we always tell him like, oh, tomorrow, like you're going to go to Grammy and Grandpa's house, and like he wakes up in the morning, and the first thing he says, he's like, is it time to go? And I'm like, kid. Like, you just woke up. Let's, like, let's talk about your night. Let's, like, cuddle. Let's, like, chill. And he's, like, I go to Grammy and Grandma's house. And I'm, like, in a little bit, in a little bit. But he loves going over there. They do all kinds of activities outside with him. Um, Nick's dad's, like, very, like, handy. So they, like, garden and all kinds of stuff. So Bennett just loves it so much. And it's just, like, also nice to have him do something that's outside of the house. Because right now it's so hard with, like, everything going on. Then Nick and I did have Uchiko for dinner and ugh, I just love Uchiko so much. They just posted on their Instagram that they have a new dessert for to go like for curbside and I think they might have it in store too but like I'm not going in, into Uchiko but it's like a um, an ice cream sandwich and their old ice cream sandwich they I think I even mentioned it recently Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's on a video I just never posted. But I mentioned that I loved their ice cream sandwich whenever they did it for happy hour at Uchi. And I think they also brought it very limitedly to Uchi Co. It was so good. This is a little bit different of an ice cream sandwich, but I'm like so hungry for it. I think we're going to get Jeffrey's tonight though because like we're both in a steak mood. But if not, ugh, I really want the ice cream sandwich. Then I did work on my script storage some more. I've been working on my script storage for like 112 years now. It is not finished. When it is finished though, guys, like it is going to be the most beautiful thing that like I've ever done. Actually, it's really not. It's, I feel like I'm very particular and I feel like parts of it bothers me a lot because it's not like even and like perfectly aligned and like looks perfect, like, but it's really organized. I'll show you, I'll make a video when I'm done, but yeah, it's, it's a look, but I think eventually it's going to really benefit me. We did watch TV again this night. That's usually what we do every night. And if I don't have enough stuff to put in, cause honestly, I've been really bad at like, I'll get to like Sunday and I won't have put anything in since the last Sunday. So I have to like go through my texts, my emails, my pictures, like everything to see what I did. So sometimes I just put in like TV if I don't have anything else because like, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, I need to start setting an alarm or something so I can remember to like put down like my actual plans. So I put in that I did have a bad headache the next day. I feel like what happens is, is. I get car sick, I think, on the way to Nick's parents. And then there's, like, a smell at Nick's parents. And at first, I thought it was just, like, them. Like, everybody has, like, a smell when you walk into their house. Like, kind of, like, perfumey or, like, whatever they burn. But I honestly think it's a new house. So I feel like it might be some, like, paint or something. But, like, I have a really sensitive nose and also sensitive, like, ears. 
as far as like hearing goes, like I feel like I am very sensitive, like everything, my senses are heightened all the time. And I don't know, I just get like really bad headache when I go to their house. Like I think it's the car sick and then I get there and I just feel like sick from like whatever it smells like a stain like paint stain or paint maybe I don't know but I had a really bad headache and then we picked up Bennett I went home and designed a kit we got bowed up for dinner I believe and then I reorganized my character stickers this day then on well I started to reorganize them that day don't don't let me fool you that it took only one like little sitting to reorganize them it took a while then on Thursday, I did have therapy, and then I did design some stuff. I did play outside with Bennett for a while, and I also did go in the pool with him for a little bit. Um, and then while I was outside with Bennett, while he was just, like, running around for the first, like, little bit, I was playing Animal Crossing and doing a villager hunt. Honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I don't think I've played Animal Crossing in two weeks now, about. I play, like very like every like couple of days but not for very long I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I picked up my switch I feel like I've just been like either tired or busy and I don't know I just would rather sleep so yeah I'm sure like I'll be reinvigorated when they do the first fall update but right now I'm just like I'm tired then I put in snuggle time with Bennett, and then I did go over to Darcy, who is a planner artist, and she invited me over for a meteor shower. Is it a meteor shower or a, like, shooting star shower? I'm assuming it's a meteor, meteor shower, but I wished on some stars. We exchanged some gifts, and I realized that my island is trash because Darcy's island is, like, next level beautiful. I was literally like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. My island's definitely on its way, and I have a vision for it. It's just I know it's going to take a lot of time, so I feel like that's very, like, uh, what's the word? It's not... Um, I know the word I'm like thinking of. It's not encouraging. So on Friday, we did get snooze for breakfast and my turnips were at $5.97. So I put that really big in. You'll see at the end with like foiled numbers because we Nick and I both had a good week back to back, which was wild. And I just wanted to put it in because I just thought that was fun. And then I did uh, collate the Aura Estelle collab, which by now you guys will have saw that I did contribute a wiggle, which is so gorgeous. And I collated that up this day and sent it off to her. And then I did do a container store curbside order because I wanted to get organizers for underwear. That's that's it. Just organizers for underwear and uh their curbside is so easy because well just anywhere that offers curbside like I just love it so much. I just think it's so like nice. And we also did pick up an HEB curbside order this day, which most of the times we do just get Amazon Fresh because it's so easy just to have the stuff delivered and Amazon we've definitely had better experiences with not having as many. Actually, I don't think we've ever had any um like substitutions with Amazon I think one time we like there was cucumbers like not available like that we ordered but HEB I feel like is constantly giving us like substitutions which is totally fine but like whenever you're like going in for something specific like in your order and you don't get it it's like <sighs> so we've been mostly sticking to Amazon Fresh but we do switch it up sometimes because there's a lot of stuff not on Amazon Fresh which there's actually like way more HEB. I don't, I don't know. There is, there, who cares about what my grocery, is? I don't know. I don't know. Then I had a new wiggle idea, which I'm so excited about. It definitely won't be implemented till probably the earliest of January. Um, anytime I, anytime I format something, it, there's, it just doesn't come to fruition very fast. And like that's like in shop, but like whenever it's like manufactured, it definitely takes longer to implement. So I don't think it's going to be implemented till like January, but it's really cute. Really cute. And I'm really excited about it. And I, for me, I really like, I watch hauls. I watch like review, like Instagram, like people review things on their Instagram stories. Like I watch it. I like white, I like, like hearing feedback, good or bad, obviously, because like, that's the only way that I can like learn and like grow and like know what y'all want. So 
I've been listening and I think that I've implemented a lot of things that like I've been hearing a lot of. So I'm very excited. On Saturday, I wrote in happy birthday, Amanda, and I put this super cute little Fox and Pip sticker. And it's just, I just feel like it's so sad because I would have really loved to like see Amanda on her birthday or like, you know, probably wouldn't have been on her birthday because like she's got bigger like priorities than me. But like maybe like this week, like if it would have been not to the quarantine and not like social distancing, I feel like we would have went out to eat this week, like for dinner or lunch or something. And I would have gave her a presence in person and like, I don't know. It's just sad that like I can't see people, but like, I don't know. It's just the way it is. And like, obviously I'll have many more birthdays to be friends with Amanda and like give her presents in person. So hopefully like by next year we can like go out and like celebrate together with food because that's like something we both love. Um, but yeah, I put that in and then I did work and then I bought my in-laws a grill because they were being like, I bought them like a rug too recently because they're just like, they're very like, they don't ever make up their mind on anything. And even when they do, they're like, oh, well, we'll just wait. And I was like, but like, you could be using this grill. It's like prime time summer. So, and it also like, whenever I go over, they can grill for me. So I bought them a grill. Also, the rug was really funny because like, they've been looking for a rug for in their living room. And it's been a real thing and they ordered a rug and Nick's mom hated it but she's very like passive and doesn't want to like be like I don't like this rug let's get a new one to Nick's dad so like I like texted her privately and was like I'm gonna find you a rug so I found her a rug and I just ordered it and she's like you don't have to and I was like yeah but like you like this rug and you hate the other rug and she's like well like if you're gonna like pull my leg and then um the one day whenever they came over the next week I think it was this week possibly maybe it was the week before I don't know but when they came over the rug was delivered and Nick's dad was like are you serious and I was like yeah she hates that rug it's gotta go if you like it so much just put it in the garage because like no one else likes it so but yeah we bought them a grill this day and they've grilled for us twice since and we're going over tomorrow for more grilling action and I'm like so hyped about it. it's a very nice grill too like he picked out a really cool one so jealous and then we had a pool day um the Krasinski's came over as like a hur- last hurrah of summer pool day um so it was like a little fam fam date and then Nick grilled and then there was so many mosquitoes I think I complained to Kirsten for like an hour at work the next day and I was up all night rubbing cortisone on mosquito bites it was so so itchy I had never had that many mosquito bites I had bruises I think I sent a picture to Kittenish Jess like my mosquito bites had bruises like they like were the most intense mosquito bites I had millions of them I hated it I just don't want to be around mosquitoes The next day I got Starbucks, I went to work, I got like really mad this day, like I have moments where like, I just am like, I can't, I can't, I just gotta like, I just gotta just, I just gotta be mad, and I was mad, so I just got my feelings out, and then I was fine, so there's that, so I put in this little mad uh, munchkin, and I think I put it, I don't, I can't really read it from the screenshot, I think it says, I go from zero to blank everyone real quick, which is like, so true but then I go into like I love everyone really fast after and then I designed a kit I played outside with Bennett and then I worked on a mystery kit reformat I was so inspired this week guys like I think it was because though I was collating the aura style collab wiggle and then I had the wiggle idea and then I was like working on I think I I was working on a mystery and I like I had like an idea for future mysteries and it's not something that I feel like I have to announce prior because honestly you're just getting like more stuff basically. Um, and it's, it's a good one. It's going to be implemented in October and I'll, and I'll let it be a surprise because this is a cute one and it's not really like, you're not getting anything lesser. It's not changing anything that I feel like I need to like let y'all know prior. Um, but it's cute and it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pleasing. So that's everything for my little voiceover. Okie dokie. So I actually kind of think I like the format of this where I talked through the base just to like get my talkies out and then I'm going to try and attempt possibly to do a voiceover on my like actual plans and then I filled it out and pulled scripts off camera. Obviously I pulled in the like sparkly champagne lights like I should call this sparkly gold shouldn't I like sparkly hollow and sparkly gold (gasps) 
I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, I I like the format of this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I just feel like I really love talking, but I also really love being able to like just sit and like put everything down and feel like I could take my time but not feel like I'm wasting y'all's. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys for this spread. I really love it. I love this box over here. I think it's super cute and I definitely am going to be implementing this a lot with I think Halloween kits and Christmas kits because so many of those kits have so many good boxes but then I like run out of space really fast so definitely gonna be doing this with, I think a lot of double boxes in the future just like hiding them in the corner so I can use extra boxes over here that actually gives me the ability to use what seven eight nine ten eleven twelve boxes which is insane so I love that but yeah I hope you guys like this spread and I will talk to you guys in my next video